<coughs> What's up, YouTube? This is To The Dome here with our second episode of the Beginner's Survival Guide to the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Um, I did switch up my characters. I had to go back and redo the hold and keep. Um, I normally use an Argonian. They have a, more of a strategic advantage. They can breathe underwater. They're immune to disease. So I tend to use them. Um, today we're going to go ahead and we're going to go cover a couple things. So when you're heading to Riverwood, as the uh, Stormcloak has told you to do, roll off, I forget his name, I think it's his name, you come across this power stone and this uh, mine shaft, or uh, mine first. So you're going to go ahead and uh, select a power stone. I always select the thief stone because most of my um, skills that I use normally are with the thief. All right, so next, what we're gonna do in this episode is we're gonna do a run through of this mine here. All right, so what you wanna wanna do, the best way to start this out is to come up from above because there's someone waiting right there by the entrance of the mine. You can actually take them out um, from up here. Right there. And I miss. Hit the wood, wooden thing next to him. Point is, they can't get up here anyways. They're going to try. They're going to go as far as their programming of the game won't let them. Um, there's a lot of places that you can go that uh, NPCs cannot. Just due to the fact that it's a glitch or whatever. All right, so we're going to go ahead and enter the mine. We'll get back to you when uh, we're loaded up. All right, we're back, and I did adjust the camera so it's a little more centered now. It'll be a little easier. Now. It's as good as it gets. So when you're coming through here, you're going to go take this wooden path due to the fact that there's a triple line right there. It's going to drop some rocks. So when you come through here, there's going to be two guys down here. You know. They're talking about the entrance and shit to the mine. Go ahead and take his ass out. Motherfucker. That almost got me killed. This journal here. I'm not going to do all these, read all this stuff, all these uh, journals and books and stuff I come across throughout this walkthrough. That just seems like tedious work. Um, if it require, if it gives you a mission or a hint, it'll come up on your mission board. So I'm not even going to bother with it. If you want to read it on your own time, by all means, do your thing. But I'm not going to go out of my way to do that. It's it's tedious and completely uncalled for.
normally I always start with my stamina because stamina is the only thing that when you level it up, it also levels up your carry weight. Um, some people think that it also le it levels up when you when you level up or it levels up regardless. That is not true. Your carry weight only levels up when you level up your stamina. Now, if you don't want to do those, um, if you want to build up your lock picking skills uh, a little easier, you don't have to grab that key. Obviously, would be the way to go if you don't want to. If you want to sit there and build up your lock picking skills. Me to grab that warhammer. Me personally, I don't use two-handed weapons. I guess besides your bow here. Other than that, if it's two-handed, I'm not using it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and. Fix those up. There's so more. Just a FYI, books that are under, I'm pretty sure I said this in my lap. No, because I didn't come across any. Um, books that are 50, value is 50 and more, level up a skill. So if the value of the book is under 50, it's not going to level up a skill. Some meat and stuff right here. There's a little hidden passage. Comes around to here. You know, really nothing except this, which I do not have a pickaxe, but I'm pretty sure there's one in here. Uh, I'm not gonna go looking for one. I'm just gonna do a run through of this. Um, there's that chest down there. Uh, if you want to grab that, basically what you're going to want to do is, oh, my bad, I always take the scrolls too, all of them, any scrolls, you can always sell them. There's things I won't waste my time with, like um, great swords, war hammers, such you know things like that. This is the end of the cave, but that's pretty much it for the cave. We'll be right back. We're gonna also do one more place before the end of this video. All right, we're back. Um, we're out of the cave or out of the mine. Um, before we take on this next spot, we're gonna go ahead and discover Riverwood real quick. Now, before you actually go into Riverwood, um, you can. There's one thing I like to do, and that is to go to um, this crypt, this dungeon over here, whatever you want to call it. Just for the fact of, you're gonna find two mission items in here before you even get the missions, and it's gonna be the Golden Claw and the Dragon Stone. The Court Wizard of Whiterun is going to ask you to retrieve the Dragonstone and the 
owners of the Riverwood Trader are going to ask you to retrieve the Golden Dragon Claw. Well, we're going to do the, the, the clear out this little house here first. There's actually a maid, a witch over here. This old lady who um, just pretends to be nobody until you sneak into her house. Even then, she's fine. But if you go into her cellar um, and come back out, as soon as you come back out, she's automatically hostile toward you. So we're going to go ahead and get the jump on her. And they actually make a reference to the Hansel and Gretel um, story here. So we're going to come up behind these rocks, go ahead and sneak mode, whip out our bow, you know. Come on, there we go. As soon as she stands still. Ah, you bitch. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we got it. So, you know, take that off of her. But look, it's it makes a, a huge reference to Hansel and Gretel. Here, doesn't just right out say it, but there you can use context clues. All right, you got a little girl's dress in here. Um, I guess depending on it, it loads at random, but there's always some kid things. All right, little girl's dress in there. Last time I played, it was a doll, a girl's doll, and a boy's toy sword. All right, and you come over here. And you can read that. Help your alchemy go up. And if you come into the cellar, it's where shit gets weird. There, YouTube, my camera cut out on me. I'm forced to use my phone because my actual equipment is broken right now. So, so we got some human flesh here. Um, so, where's her letter? There's a letter she writes to the, her friend here. I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but. Dear, why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. Renounce that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven, and your training will truly begin. That's probably, like these little letters like that, that's probably the only thing I'll read. But uh, it, it makes a... Um, a, there it is, child's doll and a wooden sword. Um, she has no children. There's no reason for her to have these things. Her friends have no children. They're both. They're all witches. Um, so it it does make a little bit of a reference there to uh, Hansel and Gretel. Um, so from here we're gonna go. This video is gonna take us all the way to um, Riverwood. I've already done gone to Riverwood and discovered it, but I'm going to go through this too. That's what this all is. Basically, as soon as you come out of Helgen, you're going to want to do this stuff. And yeah, you might be, you know, just starting out and you first, you know, beginner level. Um, but it, it's it's this dungeon here is easy enough to do that you can act, or the tomb is here easy enough to do that you can actually complete it no issue. With just the equipment coming out the gate of, you know, or coming out of Helgen. So here is actually not even part of the tomb. Just got some bandits up here. There's three of them total. And they've seen me already, so it's too late. Now a surprise. Did not see him. <laughs> And there's an archer there at the door. Promise I'm a better shot. This, uh, you're basically just going to go in here for the chest at the top. Not mean to grab that. There's also a little coin purse here. 
But other than that, there's nothing really here of value. All the way up here. This way. And come around the corner. And here you go. There's a couple of bandits outside the tomb. Because it's basically the group that stole the Golden Claw from the owner of the Riverwood Trader. Well, they've seen me now, so might as well. Also, um, I think I said this in the last video, but always pick up arrows. They weigh nothing. Um, so it doesn't matter how many you get, gather. Um, they can always be useful. We'll come back when it's loaded up. Alright, we're back and we're actually inside the tomb now. So, there's going to be two bandits over here. I don't know if these guys are part of their same scurvy and died during the entrance of this tomb or if their rival bandit clan or just battle ended up battling to the death. I don't know. You can take these two guards out in the uh, first room fairly easy as you just saw. Go ahead and level up or I had added to health this time. I'm actually working on an account um, where every skill is 100, lock picking, speech, two-handed, one-handed, blocking, archery, everything. So far, I've gotten lock picking, archery, smithing, uh, illusion, conjuration, speech, um, pickpocketing all up to level 100 on that account and my character's level is 134 so it takes a minute uh, you know you normally people focus on one kind of character um, you know an archer or a swordsman or a mage um, you're not really going to be able to do a character that's all out everything 100 you come around this corner here there's gonna be a guy at the bottom of the stairs uh, every skill that you have you know level 100 shit like that it's it takes a while it takes work you know it's, it takes some time alright so so then uh, one of these puzzle doors, these Nordic puzzle doors, um, the answer is always going to be somewhere. You know, they're always going to show somewhere where it's at. So this one is snake, snake, whale. We're going to open this. We're going to run up these stairs real quick. There's a potion of health up here. It's just a minor health potion, but, you know, 
in the beginning, minor health potions are extremely useful. So if you come in crouched, um, there's some skeevers down those stairs right there that if you don't come in crouched, they'll notice you, even though there's no way they would see you enter. Um, but, you know, fuck it, shit happens. And here they come. One, two, three. That's it. Oh, you can eat the skeever tail just because it'll help um, build up your alchemy. If you actually eat ingredients, it helps build your alchemy level. So there's that. That weak paralysis potion is going to come in handy later when it show when I show you a video on how to level up your like um, skills I apologize about that YouTube this it cut out again I am completely apologize um, anyways this douchebag is the one of the bandits who stole the golden claw he offers, if you let him down, to split the treasure with you, but of course, obviously, he tries to run off. So, if you attack him, it automatically starts breaking the web, so it really doesn't matter what you do. But, regardless, you're going to have to end his ass to get that. A you read this and whatnot, you know, tells you to find the secret of Bleak Falls Barrow which is the dragon plate stone. That's an empty urn. I normally just take all inside the urns because normally it's something like a ring or granite or you know something that's not gonna weigh a bunch and a half. So as you can tell your enemies through here are gonna be bandits, draugr, Skeever and Frostbite Spider. Just one Frostbite Spider, though. What a shot. Yeah, there's another one in here, too. It's over here. One of these actually has a, no, it's not in this one, it's in the next one. He's a droga. I should kill him before they get up. If your um, skill <coughs> is powerful enough. <coughs> As you saw, it just took me, uh, there we go, it did it again, I apologize. You know, it's not the memory, I have plenty of fucking memory on my phone, I don't know what it is. It's, do yourselves a favor if you're watching this video, never in your life, if you're an Android user, never ever use a ZTE. Got a ZTE blade. You know, 32 gigabytes of memory in in, in the actual um, phone. I got a 32 gigabyte memory SD card on it. I can't access photos on it through my through the computer and stuff. It's just got it does stuff on its own. It's just got a lot of problems. It's here we go. Ancient Nordic bow does more than your hunting bow, so we're gonna go ahead and get that. Um, it, it's it's just not worth it, you know. And yeah, granted. You can sprint through there, it's whatever, I do whatever.
up toward the end of this. Getting pretty close. <clears throat> Fuck. The rock again. chest down here. be right back and we are back Coming up to the boss battle of this tomb, I guess you would call it. It's the final guy. It's gonna be up here. And this right here, well, it's, well, he's got it on him. Sell that, we sell that, and then price for it. So he ain't a joke. Yeah. 
but he's still kind of weak. So I mean, that's what you, what the uh, the um, court wizard of White Run would have, would have sent you here for. Just an FYI. Um, can't carry too much more because I am at 302 out of 305 carry weight. So we're gonna go ahead and exit this tomb. chest as soon as you come out. We'll be right back when this loads up. And we are back guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and discover this cave down here real quick. I'm actually going to do the entrance. Oh, it's over here. Nah, maybe. Yeah, we'll go ahead and discover this cave real quick. Just so it's there. Um, all right. Um, before we go to Riverwood, though, there's something I want to show everybody. No. As an Argonian, you can breathe underwater, so really you can swim swim as long as you feel. Um, it's actually closer. Okay, so you see those little stones over there? It's a wolf. Yeah, there you are. You sneaky bastard. Alright, so basically you're going to come over here real quick. And there's those little stone things out there. It's actually one of those, um, I'll show you. There's a chest down here under the water. It's one of these. Some slaughter fish down here. They're really not strong enough to do anything but take a little bit of damage. And now I am too heavy to run, so I gotta drop something. And eat some ingredients. Did nothing. fast travel to Riverwood and then we'll be right back. Ow, I got enemies nearby. Won't let me fast travel because of the slaughter fish. Alright, well, let's get them to come close to me. I missed. Bitch. All right, guys, we're here at Riverwood. Um, it's nighttime, so our the person we're supposed to be meeting up with is actually not out right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and steal some shit. Some ingots. So we can actually upgrade some of the stuff we're using. That'll help build our smithing as well. 
Unfortunately, I used it all on the weaponry, so the armor's still there. Um, the hell. All right, so here's the start chopping. Look, new to Riverwood? If you're looking for work, of course. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. Oh, what's this all about? What are you two doing here? You just actually take. I just normally take everything. I mean, the dragon. It would explain what I saw earlier, flying down the valley. I don't know why, but I actually believe you. You've got the look of someone who's just seen it. Things just go from bad to worse. First the war, now dragons. What's this work? The Jarl needs to know that we need to get word to Jarl Valgrup in Voika to send whatever troops he can. All right, so you now have access to her house. Um, Unfortunately, it's not the same person. You know, it's these two, Odd and Gurdor. Um, if you follow the Imperial, your friend here in Riverwood would be the blacksmith, um, which is actually. It might be a little more advantage. Just because he actually shows you has weapons that you can take, you know, when you first roll through. You can't take all of that, but, you know, you, you get the gist. some extra coin here um, so basically and then we're gonna go into here this is where the golden claw belongs to so when it loads up we'll go ahead and bring it on back all right we are back no adventures no yet we're gonna talk to him ask him what happened I mean this golden claw I'm gonna put this back where it belongs you come over here me and my Give you 400 gold for bringing back the golden claw. Thank you so much for taking Any care gold of around me. here now, instead of saying crazy. steal, it says take. Hey. It used to be. So. I'm warning you. Back off. Damn it. Caught me in the chest. All right, that's pretty much it for Riverwood. Thank y'all for uh, tuning in. This is episode two. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, favorite, subscribe. If y'all have any questions on Skyrim, uh, all you need to do is ask. I know where all your um, secret weapons are, special weapons, hidden chests, the do not delete chests, anything you need to know about Skyrim. Just uh, inbox me and I can go ahead and answer your question. 
If you uh, want me to post a specific video on the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, go ahead and ask that too. Um, other than that, y'all have a nice day. Oh, don't forget to turn on those no that notification um, if you're subscribed to me. That way you can know whenever uh, a new episode of this comes out. Y'all have a nice day.